the only measure of my success as president, when people look back five years from now or nine years from now, is going to be, did I get this economy fixed? The recovery package that we've put together has not only immediate relief to families. If they've lost their job, they're going to get extended unemployment insurance. They get to keep their health insurance. Uh, we're going to make sure that states don't have to lay off teachers uh, and uh, that they can train teachers for the math and science uh, that is so important for our children. What I don't want to do is to delay creating jobs for people who are losing work, providing families some direct relief in the form of middle class tax cuts, in the form of uh, tax breaks for small businesses. And I want to make sure that we are investing this money in a way that is going to not just put people back to work right now, but will continue to pay high dividends in the future. We have to act. We have to act now. Uh, if you look at the overarching package, it's got no earmarks in it. Most of the money is either going to directly to families in the form of unemployment insurance or uh, making sure that they've got health insurance if they've lost their job, or it's designed to spark the economy by creating jobs. Nobody disputes that we should extend unemployment insurance. Nobody disputes that it is important for us to make sure the people who lose their jobs through no fault of their own still have some meaningful access to health care. No, this is not going to be uh, a package that makes everybody happy, but the main criteria I have is, is it going to put people back to work? And I think it actually will. And we've lost a million jobs in the last two months. We can't afford another four million jobs lost this year. And Every economist that I talk to projects that if we don't act quickly, we could end up seeing a much more severe situation than we're seeing right now.